it's so perfect. I mean, the first time I climbed those pyramids, I was just like, I teared up, man. It was, it was like, wow. And then just sat on top of that pyramid and, and just looked at the, the beautiful lighting, the, the, I mean, the, uh, what do you call it? The, the draw distance, right? It was so far. I mean, I could see, you know, places that I couldn't even, I mean, that were way, way over there that I couldn't even get to yet, or at least in the demo, the demos that we played, but you could see it and it was all there and you could see people moving around. And, uh, I mean, it was so beautiful and I, oh, I love mm. it. Every time I see the open world, it just looks just, yeah, incredible. And seeing people like climb pyramids or something, I'm like, oh, jeez. So much more colors than the previous games, too. Mm. Yeah, it looks I don't know if you've noticed beautiful. that, but like uh, Syndicate ver- had a, in my oh, opinion, brown. had a very so uh, brown. pale, you know, yeah, the palette was very darker. It wasn't <laughs> as, as colorful. And now I feel like, uh, I mean, it was so, I, I don't know. I was amazed, and I, I had a big chuckle just – the first time when I went through this field of of corn, and then I see Bayek's hand go up as he brushes <laughs> the corn through, like gladiator, and I was oh, like, God. "Oh my God, that is amazing!" And I stood that there is. and I just slowly moved my character, just slowly pressed him forward while I faced the camera to his face, and I was just like, "Yep." I'm a badass Russian <laughs> corn. That's it's right. those little things, right? Those That's little something things. that I think they've been doing a lot of in Origins. In. Like with with um, there's another thing when if you jump from a high point, uh, if by by will limp for a little bit after yes, you've he landed, which is something that I never expect from an Assassin's Creed game. It seems like they're really sort of trying to nail those little things that matter, like yeah. contextual things in and the environment. And another thing you guys haven't seen, which which I I can say is. Um, so you guys know that there's – obviously you can speed up daytime to night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, the way that it works is depending on where you are, it's going to have different animations. It's going to have a different way of doing it. So if you're out in the world and then you, as of right now, hold down the back button, mm-hmm. uh, it will go up and it will fast forward about 12 hours. There's no like specific time you can set, but it will fast forward about 12 hours. Um, and you just watch everyone like – Everyone around the world, because you can still see the world. Everyone around the world just kind of moves super fast, like boats moving fast. Every, you see everything is still being moved in the world. Mm-hmm. So all it, it really is speeding up time as opposed to just um, kind of all of a sudden bringing you to the nighttime. So you're actually seeing people run their patterns, run their work, <clears throat> going home, going to go eat, going to go do different things. You see all of that in the span of a 12-hour period when you fast forward. But if you are underneath – something like if your character himself is like sitting under something where you can't the camera can't pan out right Mm -hmm. because it would glitch or something like that or it would have to you know go through the go through the the ceiling or something um what it does is it centers around bayek meditating and he gets into his meditative state and he like sits there indian style and uh, and you just you just watch him like be in complete peace, and I just thought that that was really cool. How there was like a different way of of seeing. You don't see that meditation mm. when you're out in the world. You see it when you are when you're meditating inside somewhere or under a canopy or something like that. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, that's what this is what I've been talking about, James. You and I have talked about this for years now, right? Mm-hmm. Those little, little, little things, things, little things separate. Little things are important. A, yeah, a great game from, a, or a good game from a great game, or a great mm-hmm. game from an amazing legendary game. It's the smallest little details in the characters and the gameplay. It's what made to me Horizon Zero Dawn one of the you know greatest games, if not the best game of this era of video games. Um, same with Uncharted Four, you know. That's what I expect from you yeah, know, and it's also games. just just standing there, just like literally standing there, leaving your character for, you know, a few seconds. Uh, obviously, Sinu is going to come and and sit on your, uh, uh, sit on your hand, and you're going to move around with her. And uh, it was really cool. You like kind of got a sense of the relationship that they have when you just mm-hmm. leave the game alone, and let That's everything cool. just kind of happen. You know, it felt really. Unique and cool. And I'll answer, I'll answer a question that uh, a lot of people have asked me um, on my channel. And I, I, maybe you guys know about this, but a lot of people have asked me because they care about the underwater. They're like, can you fight underwater? Can you do all that stuff underwater? Mm-hmm. Yes. You have full 
Except for you can't do a bo- uh, an arrow. <laughs> you yeah, can't. Of I mean. <laughs> um, what? Yes. That's, that's bullshit. Yes. So you're gonna get. You're gonna go up against enemies that are underwater. You're gonna go up against uh, you know the animals and things like that that are chasing you underwater and all that stuff. And yes, you can go up against them and and fight enemies underwater. So. Yeah, I remember. Uh, just it was after e th- after the Ubisoft E3 pre- press conference when they demoed it live for about half an hour. I remember being amazed by everything and then he went into the water he like killed a hippo and then like the blood like came out of the animal and like went into the water and then you saw all these predator animals in the water come like swarm to the blood and i was like this yep. game this game man, and there are a lot so of good. animals a lot of animals way more than what you've seen oh i'm so i'm so excited so it they each region is like you know they've what they've done is they've taken a lot of things from far cry Mm-hmm. And put it into the game. So you know how Far Cry always had your specific regions of this is where you're going to find this specific animal and this is, you know, mm, things yeah. like that. They've done a lot of that. So you're you're going to be able to go to specific areas, obviously, to craft the items that you need. One of the coolest things that I that I saw was the fact that you can pin crafting things to your map. So like if let's say I only wanted to focus on um, I only wanted to focus on up, upgrading my hidden blade right? Mm-hmm. That's all I wanted to focus on, was upgrading my hidden blade. Well, there's two specific things you need to upgrade your hidden blade. You can pin those so that everywhere you go, um, you see these two specific items uh, that you need, and it shows the emblems of the items. It doesn't show you where the items are, because that would be too easy, right? But mm-hmm. it shows you the emblems. So when you go around and discover the world, and see things and open up and you send you to, you know, to, you know, do your uh, synch- synchronization and all that stuff. And, and, and once the world opens up and all that, then you kind of get the area of where you need to go to get that specific item. I thought it was so cool. Like if I wanted to sit and focus on one thing that mm-hmm. the game helps me to focus on that one thing instead of just, you know, trying to remember it myself because it shows up on the actual thing. Mm, yeah. That's very similar to horizon when you like, you could, if you wanted to craft like a specific bow, you'd be like, uh, I, I want this. So you like hold square or whatever, and it like creates a job. So then within yeah. the world, you can then, the game will just sort of be like, okay, so this is where this animal might be. And then you go there, you hunt it, find exactly. it, kill it, craft it. And yeah. Yeah. It's pretty fucking cool. Games are just getting really, I mean, they're, there's only so much more we can do with graphics that they're, I think gameplay is finally starting to really, really kind of catch up a little bit. Mm, uh, they're really trying to starting to come out with a lot more interesting things for people to be able to do. And I never felt at at any time during my sessions that it wasn't fun for me to do specifically what I was doing. It, it, even if if I even if I was purposely dying just to see, you know, certain things, it, it felt mm-hmm. fun to do it. 